Hmm. Anything you want, you can get it. We have people from all cultural background. We have Africans, we have Jamaicans, we have persons from all over. Ghana, Nigeria, Jamaica, Caribbean, you know, everywhere. You get to here. You can choose whatever you like. Literally everything. If you want a rug, if you want curtains, if you want food, if you want fashion. Anything you can actually think about. We've got it here. I work in Edmonton Green Shopping Centre. I have been working in this street market. It's coming to one year this month. I'm a proud trader in the Edmonton Green Shopping Centre. I've been working here almost a year now. I've been working in Dawson Kingston Market for about 18, 20 years. It's a beautiful market. It's a community. It's a friendly <laughs> one. Young people, home people, elderly people. My name is Ameya John Lewis. I sell African prints, lace, and I'm a tailor. I combine everything together. The name of my shop is Ameya Ward Fashion and Style. It's called Ameya Ward because it's my word. <laughs> Why I choose that name, I don't know about my godfather that chooses the name for me because it's my real native name, my birth name. I started making clothes when I was young because I grew up seeing my mommy sewing and every time I said one day I'm going to be, I'm going to be sewing. So when I grew up, I just fell in love with it straight away because I love to do something. I don't like to be creative. More or less, I self-taught passion. I have passion for what I do. I'm from Nigeria. Nigerian culture is very beautiful. We are very colorful in terms of our party and um, dressing up. When I design for someone, I sew for customer, and they like it, they come back and give me the review that, oh, Amaya, thank you. Amaya is a lovely woman, very focused, hardworking, consistent. The first time I met her, she was so approachable, very good customer service. The outfit is very well fitted, excellent, Mwah. on point. She took her time, she did a very beautiful job. When I wake up in the morning, I know I have a place to go to. I will jump out of my bed. I will run like as if I'm going to get a job in the office. Even if I'm sick, I'm always there. I work from home before. When I said I'm going to move my shop to Edmonton Green Shopping Mall, my family was scared. I said, ah, I will do it. And by God's grace, I started doing it. And the more everybody's telling me I can do it, that is the more I keep doing it more. So that is exactly what put me to where I am today. My name is Marcia. I am a hairdresser. I have a passion for hair. When I decided to do this, it was like, I like to create stuff and I like to make people happy. I like to see a smile on people's face. So I know when I was quite younger, I used to just play around doing hair just for fun and people were really amazed. Then I said, maybe I could just use this as a profession. And it started from there. My shop is called Marcia Salon. Just for people to recognize, it's Marcia. I was gonna use Fabulous style, but I'm like, you know, Marcia. People would know exactly where we at. The energy here, some people would come in and said, oh, we're always having a party. So that made me have that vibes, the energy. Me and my client, we talk about practically everything, like relationship, our lifestyle, men. Practically every week, there's drama. Drama means fun, laughter, somebody come in with something that just like, you just have to just laugh. You have to just shake your head and laugh. Every day is laughter in my salad. My name is Christina Okoli. Our shop is called Tony's Quality Butchers because the meat is fresh. Tony's the owner, he's my son. We named the shop Tony's Quality Butchers because Tony had a butcher in Brixton. So we thought it's best to keep the same name. Tony is a very nice son, very polite, very hardworking. James, my husband, is the best husband anybody can ever wish for. I wanted to become a market trader because I wanted to provide for the whole community. The food that people buy from the shop connects them to their country, to their home. Because when they come to buy, they will say, oh, this is here also, we got this in our country. Sometimes we are playing music and then, you know, they are dancing and then we also, you know, join in and dance with them. We crack jokes, we laugh. Somebody might come not very happy, but by the time they leave the shop, we talk to them and they go home laughing. My name is Raquel Yuan Bolin. We sell a variety of stuff. 
African Caribbean stuff, things from basically all over the world. We have sugar cane, sometimes watermelons, all type of fruits, yellow yam from Jamaica, sweet potato. We have Uganda sweet potato, the puna yam, and we have things connected to a lot of countries, a lot of cultures. The food we sell gives people a feeling of being home. When they're cooking the food, it reminds them that basically they're getting a part of their culture. Erica is my mom. She's my auntie. She's my mom. She's very determined and hardworking. What I think about my mom is that she's a wonderful person. She is always kind, helpful, even when somebody is sad, she always cheers people up. She's a good team leader and she's also like a great, great mum to me as well. This job is not easy. Being on your toes all day, you have to keep moving about, always getting things to stock up. Um, but in my case, it's not hard because I have help. The workers and the customers, they are the best. Will they come and they will tell you a story or they will run a joke about something or they just make your day. The way they talk to you is like some of the times they don't want to leave. My name is Fatrin Jai Ennis. I've been working here for one year now. Dolson is a place you can get a lot of things. Most of the stuff from back home, Africa and Caribbean. If you want something from back home, you can find what you need. I'm selling African products, perfume from Dubai and Caribbean food as well. I've got palm oil from back home. I've got cherry, chakra. My customers come and buy their own country food. You can see them, their face. They're so happy when they're buying it. When they come, they're always happy. Being a female trader in the market, there are a few of us, yeah mostly men, but it makes us special. For me, I think I can be equal as a man. I look at equality, a person that can do the job. So there's no difference in a man or a woman being ahead of anything. A company, a business can do it as a woman as well, as equal as a man. Sometimes people look down at you because it's like, it's not your role. Well, at the beginning, it was not easy. I have to get up every morning and go to work. I'm a hard worker. I don't like to depend on anyone. I don't want to wait for somebody to come and put food on my table or to come and put money in my hand. I've been told I'm arrogant. I've been told uh, you think you're all that. <laughs> and I've been told you're a woman. <laughs> but to me, if you're strong in something and you like it and you want to do it, I believe that you should go for it, whether you're a man or a woman. I love my job. The vibe of the people, the music, the, the, the shouting. Cho Cho, <laughs> our Christophine. You put it in your soup. You cook it down with salt fish. People are friendly, even though we don't know each other that much. But when you pass each other, we just say hello. Doesn't matter what color you are, English, black. <laughs> you get characters in Dunstan. You put it in your mouth and you wiggle it around. There's some things that you only see in Dunstan. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's really loving here. We have lovely people, different character, a different background. I just love seeing people, you know, walking around, talking, different languages. The Indian men, they can speak everything. Jamaican, they have a little African accent, like everything. It's Dawson, it's multicultural. Like, you might hear the Indian man telling you Wagwan. So. <laughs> I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. I am from Jamaica. I'm from Gambia. Growing up in Jamaica is awesome. It's like the best place to be. The food, the vibes of the people, the parties. A lot of the market reminds me of Jamaica. The food stalls, the food stalls, the shouting of the products that we're selling, the music. I think that the ingredients people buy from our shop connects them to their country. It gives people a sense of home. So those you know, remind me of Ghana. Everything around here in the market reminds me of all Nigeria. Uganda. Jamaica. Gambia. West Africa. And the people themselves, they remind me of home. 